Hi, First Year Social Workers. So today we're going to dive into trauma-informed practice and its importance for social work exams. Trauma-informed practice acknowledges the prevalence of trauma and its profound effects on individuals. It ensures we approach each client with empathy, understanding, and respect. There are six principles of trauma-informed practice that's safety, trustworthiness, transparency, peer support, collaboration, mutuality, empowerment, voice and choice, and cultural, historical, and gender issues. First, ensure that the individual feels physical and psychologically safe. Next, you want to foster trust by being clear, consistent, and transparent. Promote peer support as it is a vital in establishing safety and hope. Practice collaboration and mutuality. There is no hierarchy in this approach. Everyone has an important role. Foster empowerment, voice and choice. Ensure that each individual's strengths are recognized, built on, and they're valid. Lastly, respect the influence of cultural, historical, and gender issues. Recognize and address biases and offer responsive services. In your exams, you'll encounter scenarios where these principles come into play. Understanding these principles will help you respond effectively and ethically. Remember, trauma-informed practice is about understanding, empathy, respect. Embrace these principles and you'll be well prepared for your social work exams. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out. We're here to help. Until then, good luck with your studies and have a good day. Bye, guys.